What's up guys, welcome back to another electric skateboard video and today we're talking about something um, I've been working on for the last month or so. Um, I've had the idea for about a year and we finally have the means to kind of put it together. Um, and that idea is a custom kit builder. Um, there's a lot of different websites for different products where you can go and kind of select the things that you want and then each question um, changes based on the answers you've answered previously to help keep everything compatible. So I wanted to do that with electric skateboard parts. I know in my first build, I was very confused on which parts were compatible and which parts I could use with which. So hopefully this piece of software that we've kind of put into our website will help people choose parts with more confidence. And I don't want to talk too much about it. Let's just jump right into the website and I can demo it for you guys and show you guys kind of how powerful it is and, and, uh, and how valuable it might be for you guys. So uh, here we go. When you first get on mboards.co, uh, right now at least, the um, the main banner you're gonna get to is advertising the new mboards kit builder. Cause it's brand new, we're super proud of it. Depending on when you guys watch this video, it might be different, but worst case scenario, you can always come up here and hit the kit builder button. But for now, we're gonna hit the start my build. So this will load, obviously, eSkate kit, kit builder right there, zero dollars, and then this little will like these little button things will load and then when it loads you'll get a couple different options so the cool part about this is it's super easy you don't really have to think about it you just start selecting your options so it's going to ask you uh your motor type so you either have the option of belt motors or hub motors um i'm a big fan of belt motors so i guess we'll go here and uh, i will design a little build that i i'd be happy with riding um i'm going to go with belt motors and immediately you're going to get greeted with more questions so um, it's asking single or dual. Uh, I'm I'm good with single motors. I, I you know dual motors are great, but let's try to make this build a little more affordable because you know adding a second motor does uh, increase the the price by a lot. So let's go single motor here. Uh, and then the, now the following question is which specific motor we want. So we have the 6355, the 6374, or the 5055 um, kit that comes with the motors, uh, the truck, and the wheels. So. I like a little more customization than this option, so I'm going to go with the 6374. Now if you already have a motor, for for example, you can select that you already have your own and then you don't have to get one from us if you already have one. But I would like the 6374, great. So with belt driven motors, you are going to need a motor mount, which is the next question. Um, we have the premium clamp motor mount as an option or the basic motor mount. Um, you can kind of click each one and you know, it'll show you a, a bigger uh, version of it on the screen if you want a closer look it also says what it is and what the price is as you click back and forth so i'm gonna pick the premium clamp motor mount because i like that one more um just for the record by the time you guys maybe see this um we are getting new motor mounts new m boards custom motor mounts that will replace this uh the premium clamp motor mount very soon so just keep that in mind that this might look a little different but uh anyways okay so the next question is caliber two trucks because almost all motor mounts are uh, compatible with uh, caliber two trucks. We do have a couple options here. I already actually have a set of trucks that I want to use. So um, I already have a pair of black caliber two trucks. So I'm going to select, I already have my own trucks. So after we pick our trucks, it is going to ask us which battery voltage we want to use, which is our basically our speed. There's a couple other factors that play into our speed, but it does affect our speed quite a bit. So I really like 10S batteries. I like the speed that we can get. I like the size of those batteries and I like the price of those batteries. So I'm gonna go with 10S. Um, so now we're gonna be greeted with a couple, another question, um, which specific 10S battery? Mboards currently uh, carries three different 10S batteries, a 10S 2P, 3P, and 4P. Um, all those will carry the same speed, but they're all different ranges. 10S 2P has about a 10 to 12 mile range. 10S 3P is about uh, 12 to 15 and then uh, 10s 4p is about 15 plus more like 18 plus so i'm gonna go with the 10s 3p i think that pairs really well with this motor and it gives me a lot of amp output so now i have to pick my esc now there are a couple options there is a slight limitation to the software you do have to pay attention to which um esc you get so there are four different options but only two apply to our build so it says right here in the description, it says choose for single motors only, choose for dual motors only, choose for single motors only, and choose for dual motors only. So we are using a single motor, so we will only be able to select either this one or this one. Um, this one is just the basic ESC with the uh, remote combo, and this one is a VESC. I am on Team VESC, I love using VESC, I love being able to customize them and all that. Um, so I'm going to go with that and I, you can see that 
once I hit the VESC, it comes up with a little more options than when I hit just the basic ESC. Um, so let's get into those. So once you choose a VESC, you get a couple different accessories that a lot of people like to add to their VESC. Uh, a power switch, a battery percentage indicator, and a VESC Bluetooth adapter. I honestly want all of those, so I'm gonna go and select all of these. Um, all these questions up here have been one or the other, you pick one option. A couple of these down here, you get to pick multiple. So um, just try, you know, test it out, see what you can do. Um, you'll, you'll figure it out pretty quickly once you start uh, building your kits. So I want all of those and it just adds the price of each of those into the kit. And then it asks us to choose our remote. And again, you can scroll up to see uh, the larger version of the picture. Um, either the remote mini or the remote nano. I love the remote nano, I'm going with that one. And then we'll get down to our wheels. I really love orangutan wheels. We do have a couple ABEC versions here. You can see the picture update up top. But my favorite wheels are the 80 millimeter blue 77A wheels. These are just beautiful, I love them. So I'm gonna go with those. And then a pulley system. So we can either use our own pulley system or we can get a pulley system that is compatible with our wheels. So let's just, for example, if we go with um, black ABEC wheels, the pulley system option down here will be the ABEC pulley system. If we go with the orangutan wheels, the pulley system down here will be the orangutan pulley system. So you can't get it wrong, which is the awesome part. Um, you cannot mess anything up. If you follow these this guide, you won't get anything that's not compatible. So I'm gonna go with the pulley system down here and then choose an enclosure. So now this is another one where you can pick multiple. Um, I'm gonna pick just this one. This is our new universal battery enclosure with an uh, ENC, ESC enclosure. So I'm gonna go with that. Um, and then it's gonna ask us if we want shred lights. Uh, I really love shred lights, but I already have a set, so I'm gonna say no thank you. And at the end, it's gonna ask us for all of our basic e-skate needs. So maybe I'm gonna need maybe an inch and a half hardware. Uh, maybe I'll grab some quarter inch riser pads. I need some bearings for my wheels, a speed kit, and some grip tape. And then uh, maybe I want M-boards to solder everything together because I do have a vest that does require a couple connectors, so I'll select that. So, this is a really nice build. So this build comes out to $847, which is, that's more on the higher side for sure. Um, but that's a really, really nice setup with some premium wheels, um, with a really nice ESC, um, a nice uh, enclosure, all of that, a really nice battery. But let's, let's maybe change things around and get a more cheaper build. Um, so anyway, so that's my build. I really like this build. Now I'm probably gonna actually make this build later on. Um, so let's just scrap this, let's start over, but you can start over by deselecting the motor type and it'll all go away. Um, it'll take a second, there it goes, we're back at zero. So I wanna show you guys a really cheap option as far as um, this kit. So if you go to belt motors, single, and you choose the, the truck wheel combo kit, um, so far this is the cheapest option. I know it's the most expensive uh, motor option, but you do save a lot of money when it comes to trucks, motor mounts, pulley systems, wheels, all that stuff. So let's we'll select that. And then our cheapest battery we sell so far is the 6S uh, 2P battery. It's 125 bucks. It's awesome because uh, before we released the 6S 2P, our cheapest battery was 250 bucks. So much cheaper. Now if we do go with the, uh, the basic ESC, we don't have to buy um, a remote, which is really nice. Um, so, as you can see, we're already super cheap, and right now, we actually have a totally functional build. We would just have to come up with our own enclosure if we didn't want to buy one, and a couple of the skate hardware pieces, but that's about it. I mean, we're already less than 350 bucks as it is, but I do really like our enclosure, and it's cheap enough at $35, so you can't go wrong with that. Um, and then, again, shred lights. If we're going for a budget build, shred lights just might not be in our budget, so we're gonna say no. Um, then again, I'm gonna go with a couple pieces of hardware because you know we want to make sure we have a complete setup. But I don't need bearings because that kit up here already comes with bearings, and I don't need a spacer kit. It already comes with that. And maybe I'll grab some grip tape. And then we're totally set. That's three hundred ninety-eight dollars. We're below four hundred bucks, and with the free shipping coupon, literally less than four hundred dollars shipped to your door. This is one of the cheapest options for sure. And uh, now the best part is you can either use this as a guide and then um, go through and add each thing individually to your cart or you can just add it straight to your cart. 
Now it'll, it'll take a second, but eventually it will add in. It's just adding up all your parts. Perfect. You can click on your cart and now it's all here. It all populates right here. Um, it shows the last thing you selected uh, as far as parts go. I said I didn't want shred lights, so that's why there's an X there. But uh, anyways, so then once you get everything, you can rest assured that everything will fit together the first time. You won't have to return anything because this doesn't fit with that. Um, hopefully this makes sense to you guys. It, it seemed pretty obvious to me to build this because I know during my first build, I got things that didn't quite fit together. I had to modify this, modify that, solder things to, together that weren't really supposed to go together. So I just figured this would definitely help uh, first time builders or just people who want a quick way of uh, purchasing their things with a little bit of peace of mind that everything is going to fit the first time. Um, if you have any questions or any suggestions on how we can make this better, we're super open to it. Again, this is a brand new thing. So uh, there might be a couple things that we haven't added yet, but we are totally open to your suggestions. We really want to make this really, really good and really useful to the Eastgate community. Uh, again, any questions, drop them below. I'm very active in the comments section. Uh, really trying to answer everyone's questions. If you haven't followed us on Instagram yet, we have so much behind the scenes stuff going on over there. We have deals, we have all kinds of stuff there. Um, so follow us and uh, keep up to date with all of our stories and stuff that we're doing and all of our shipping and all that kind of stuff there. And uh, yeah, and if you haven't, uh, if you have any questions about any of the parts that we've used in this video, all the links are in the description, the link to the kit builder is in the description as well. So thank you guys so much for the support. Subscribe if you haven't already. We have a lot of electric skateboard stuff coming and uh, yeah, happy skating and uh, wear a helmet. And we will see you guys next time.